Hey YouTube, check it out. So as you saw in the intro video, I have the PS90 here, uh, which I got to take out to the range and do some uh, test firing with and experimenting with. Uh, very cool weapon system. If you're not familiar with this already, um, this is a semi-automatic version of the P90, which was a uh, select fire short barrel SBR, but this being obviously legal, uh, is a semi-automatic and has the 16 inch barrel floating barrel here and just kind of diving into all the specs let's go ahead and first for all the safety sallies out there just safety check it it is empty um, this particular rifle shoots the 5.7 by 28 millimeter bullet or round which i do have one here just to kind of show so it almost looks like a miniature 5.56 five, bullet. Um, pretty cool little cartridge. The magazine here, interesting as well, holds 50. And when you load them in, as you may have seen in other videos, if you're not familiar already, but basically you load it in, the bullet faces this way, and it rotates 90 degrees and then feeds down the, the magazine itself. So can actually fit 50 of those rounds into here. Pop that bad boy in. And then when you go to rack it, since the it's a bullpup style rifle, meaning all of the trigger pack and everything is behind um, further back. So basically allows it to be a little more compact here. And so what happens is when you shoot this rifle, as you may have seen in that intro video, the rounds do not eject out the side as is normal in most rifles. Instead, it comes ejects from the bottom, which is pretty convenient. You don't have to worry about hot brass flying to your right if you were in a team or had uh, other people nearby. Um, but very cool. Um, I went ahead and added just a real cheap red dot on here, and it made for sight acquisition really nice. What's actually kind of strange um, maybe because I'm just not familiar with bullpup rifles, but basically when I bring it in, I can't actually put my cheek to stock because then my eyesight is not lined up with the, uh, optic. And so it's almost kind of, it doesn't feel weird. It's just getting that sight picture. I'm so used with my AR, my HK, other rifles, like getting, getting in there and like looking down. Now, if you were using the iron sights, that's exactly what you'd be doing. Get cheek to stock down here. It has actually an interesting rail system where you have um, iron sights being ambidextrous on each side here. I'll show some close-up shots. And then also here integrated into the rail is an iron sight. So you have a couple of different options on how you want to use your irons. But with the optic, you know, my brother-in-law and my father-in-law, we were able to get this thing basically, you know, dialed in within about six rounds. Um, granted, we weren't doing 100 yards, 200 yards, any real substantial distance, but just there at the shooting range, uh, close close range, didn't take very long. Um, very low recoil um, round, so as far as keeping shots on target, very easy to do. The ergonomics are actually really nice. You know, when you look at the design, it's kind of, I don't know, I guess it's either love or hate, but to me it looks really cool. And I was kind of worried that it was going to be, since you don't really have a lot of um, options to change up your grips and um, do a lot right out the box, it's kind of, this is what you're dealing with. But it feels really nice. My biggest fear would be 
if you ever made this into an SBR, I guess because my habit with AR is really getting out there, um, being a longer rifle just with the stock and then my four, you know, four end um, grip is so far out that you kind of have to remember like, okay, with this particular weapon system, you need to, it's right, it's right close to where your trigger finger is going to be. So, you know, you're kind of getting right up in there and acquire your sight um, as opposed to bringing it, like pulling it back from further forward. So that would be a very bad day if you went and grabbed the barrel up here or by accident. So um, the safety is actually pretty cool. Um, the switch, I don't know why it makes that sound. You hear that? <laughs> anyway, um, very cool because um, like with an AR, you know, you're sweeping it with your, your thumb here. And on this system, you actually just pop it. And again, ambidextrous, so left-handers will enjoy that too. Charging handle is, um, leaves some things to be desired. I know that they sell aftermarket upgrades for this charging handle um, to because there's really not much to grab onto if you were trying to charge it real quick um, or limited in how you could maneuver that. So um, that's one thing I would say is a con to this particular rifle. The other thing is mag changing. So that's definitely uh, takes some getting used to because think about it, if you're, there's no way to easily swap mags. Um, the way that it's held in is this kind of detent. So you have to push that and then, I mean, I guess you could try and turn the rifle and dump, dump it out and then move it. I mean, it's just not, like with the AR, you hit a button, mag drops, pop a new one in, send the bolt. Um, here, if you're, you know, it doesn't have any type of bolt hold open or anything like that, so you spend that 50 rounds, you're gonna have to take this out, get a fresh mag, put it in, pop it in place, charge the handle back, send one in and then get back on target. Um, so unless you're keeping a really good count and you get to 49 and you know that 50th round is in there and then you swap and then keep running another 50, you could do that. But um, so as far as practic practical, you know, fast magazine switches probably aren't going to happen uh, without a lot of practice. So, but it's still really cool. Um, and very light. So one of the pros for sure is extremely lightweight compared to um, my AR and even my HK um, other rifles that I have. So I really like this and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the review. Definitely check one out if you ever get the chance. It's a lot of fun. I was very impressed with just how easy it was to stay on target and that made for some really accurate shooting. Well, thanks for given this video a watch, be sure to like it. If you enjoyed it, share it with your friends. That way other people can uh, experience my quick little review here on the FN PS90. As always, may the Schwartz be with you and y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one.